Well, Dave, another full week of training, no midweek game for you this week. What's preparation been like ahead of the weekend's game? Really good. Um, I suppose for the first time in a while, it's allowed us to load certain players, take away from certain players a little bit. We've obviously played a played a lot of football, um, coming into an important time that becomes a busy time for us, especially through through April, April sorry, um, March and April. So it's about managing uh, managing those games, managing that load. Um, and also be preparing ourselves for what will be a tough game Saturday. Other sides in action in the National League on Tuesday night, Wrexham closing the gap. There's a lot of external noise at the minute about, about pressure, about whether teams prefer to be chased or do the chasing. How important is it for you and the lads just to be able to, to switch off from that and, and yeah. focus on yourselves? It's loads of external noise, great, isn't it? Um, from our side of things, uh, what we, we've spoken about is being consistent around what we've done um, and what we've done consistently over the past three months is win football matches. So. Nothing will nothing will change from our side of things. Um, we've got ourselves into a great place. I wouldn't swap with anybody, um, and we're comfortable with the position we find ourselves in. Um, it's important now that we um, take advantage of the situation we we find ourselves, and like I say, we've got to control what we can. Um, and if we do that, then we have a real chance. Just looking back at, at last Saturday at Aldershot, and, and a result of a, a couple of injuries at the back, you switched to that that back four. Is that Something we might see more of moving forward. Um, yeah, I have, I have no issue in terms of personnel we've got. We we can play with we can play with a three. We can play with a four. I think what we try and do, regardless um, with our shape, depends on what what other teams do. So our four. We'll, or our, our five, three, or whatever you want to call it, will we'll quite easily morph into a four. Whether that be trying to play out from the back, whether that be shifted across to the side. Um, I say shapes and, and what you do against um, opposition teams really for us it's about what positions we need to be on the pitch in order to be able to go and press um, and where we can win the ball back and then in possession our shape's different whether you want to see it as a a back three a, a back two if one of the centre backs steps in so th- th- there's lots of variation in terms of what we, what we want to try and do it'll be different in possession it'll be different out of possession it'll be tweaked slightly in terms of where personnel are dependent on what opposition and what shape you're coming up against um, so yeah listen it's something that we've done a little bit of work on um, all the players within the squad that we've got are comfortable playing within that shape um, and as and when we, we need it, we'll, we'll not be afraid to use it. And in terms of the injuries you've had, Ryan Rydell obviously is still out, but how, how is everyone else in terms of recovery and injuries? No, no touch wood, really good. Um, like I say, we're in, a, we're in a good place, even with, even with Ryan. Um, Scan obviously wasn't as as hopeful or as good as we'd hoped it would be, um, but he's reacted and responded really, really well. He's out on the grass for the first time today, so some really low level running for him. Um, and hopefully he'll be on, on, on schedule to, to come back when we thought. So it won't be too long before he's back he's back out there. Um, what we've got to do is, like I say, is manage the, the squad until that time. Ideally, you want to go into this part of the season with everyone fit, everyone available, everyone free from suspension. We've not got that for the next, certainly next couple of the games, if you like. Um, but beyond that, we want to make sure we're strong as we can and we can pick a team that we think on a given day will go and win for us. Just going back to the FA Trophy, obviously we've seen quite a lot of, of rotation in the last couple of rounds, but you're at the quarter-final stage now, only two steps away from Wembley. Is there a temptation there now to, to go with your, your full-strength side, or do you, do you keep faith with the lads that have, have got you this far? Of course, there's, there's always listen. There's always t- <clears throat> there's always temptation. Um, ultimately, as you say, we're, t- we're two games and well, two wins away from uh, from a Wembley Cup final. Um, it's a little bit of deja vu. We sat in the sat in the same position last round. I think we we had to go to Bromley on the on the on the Tuesday, um, and I would sit there and, and I would say the same now that if I was given the option of having to win one game, whether it be Saturday or Tuesday, I'd rather win on Tuesday. We're all more ambitious and a little bit more greedy than that, and we don't have to make that choice. So we'll try and win both games, um, but that won't mean that we'll take unnecessary risks um, with players in order to um, pick a team at, at the weekend. We'll pick a team on Saturday that we think can win us the game and we'll be doing everything we can to win the game, but it won't be um, or won't be risks, if you like, or unnecessary risks that put us um, 
in an adverse situation for Tuesday. One position you have rotated in the trophy recently has been the goalkeeper. You obviously had Luca Ashby Hammond on the bench last weekend. He's been in the building about a month now on loan from Fulham. What have you been able to, to make of him and, and could he be involved at the weekend? Yeah, Luca's fitted in really, really well. Um, really, really nice lad. Um, as, like I say, has been great. To be fair, the, the three of them with, with Rossi and Ben work, work really, really well together, which is one every day. So good competition. Um, he, we've been impressed with what we've seen from him. Um, and Saturday will be an opportunity, most likely, that he will or we'll get to, to see him in a, um, in a competitive fixture, in a competitive game. He obviously played in the behind closed doors game here. Um, but now looking forward to, to, to seeing him play. Um, has a really bright future ahead of him. Um, and hopefully he can, well, first off, hopefully he doesn't have to show what he can do on, on Saturday. But if um, and when required, um, we've absolutely no issues with, um, with what he's shown might have been in the building. And just finally on, on the game itself at Needham, it's the third round in a row now that you're coming up against a side that are describing the game as, as the biggest in their history. And that, that's a challenge in itself, isn't it? Coming up against a team that are going to be right up for it. Every game is a challenge. Um, as I've said, I don't want to sound boring and repetitive, but it's about controlling what, what we do. That Every game brings different challenges, whether it be opposition, whether it be style of play, whether it be pitches, whether it be weather conditions. Every, every game is a challenge. What you've got to do is adapt and overcome them challenges, whether it be before the game, preparation for the game, over the course of 90 minutes to get a result. We've, we've got ourselves in a really good rhythm of doing that and hopefully we can, we can do that at the, uh, at the weekend. Listen, it's as big a game for us as it is for them. Um, it's as big a game for some of the players that will play in the game because it does take you one step away from, um, from Wembley, somewhere where the majority of players haven't had the opportunity to play and the vast majority of players won't get the opportunity to do um, over the course of their career. So it's, listen, it's, a, it's a big game, it's a game we're looking forward to. It's a game that we know that we're going there and wanting to produce the best, the best version of, of us, if you like, but most importantly, it's finding a way of getting a result. And if that means that we, we play unbelievably well and we're open and expansive and, um, and win really convincingly, great. If that means we've got to be resolute and determined and, um, and nick a result, then that'll be just as, just as satisfying. Dave, thanks for your time. We'll see you down at Needham. Cheers, thank you.